16th and today I just went to the mail shop and received these two um, packages that I have been waiting for for about like a week or two I believe and I'm actually really excited about these. This bag contains recycled plastic and is 100% recyclable. Safety first to avoid dangerous associations. Mm -hmm. I can't figure out which one I'm looking forward to the most, honestly. The second package that I have right here that I actually kind of opened is definitely something that is pretty sought after. And I'm very lucky to have that. That came from the UK. Oh my gosh, I can see this book. I actually have the Disney Princess 2007 edition of um, this book series thing that seems to be very popular. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that is so... Oh, and it's got the artworks at the back, too. Barbie, um, Princess Tales, The Essential Guide. When I saw this online on Instagram years ago, I instantly freaked out because, I mean, this includes um, The Nutcracker, Swan Lake, Rapunzel, Princess and the Pauper, and obviously at the time, Barbie and the Magical Pegasus was the, the newer Barbie edition. This would be... 16 years old. Barbie Princess Tales, The Essential Guide. Discover the fantastic world of Barbie Princess Tales. Come and meet Annika, Erica, Annalise, Odette, Rapunzel, and Clara. Feature specially commissioned fairy tale artworks. Share the adventures and excitement and the romance. I mean, look at this artwork. Look at Penelope up there. Look at the fairy. Oh my gosh. Wolfie and Serafina. I miss this. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to sound like one of those people who's very, um, uh, nostalgic, but my childhood is not great anymore, you know, that type of thing. However, I would say just about everybody would agree with me when I say that the Barbie franchise definitely has knocked down on its, on its course, um, compared to what the quality used to be. Look at this, this is just like a paper cover thing, and look, that's holographic right there. A world of books, book bandage. Pesky price sticker underneath. Ah, okay. There's the same cover underneath. The hardcover too, which is pretty rare to go by here in Australia. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a princess? Well, let's find out. Some lucky girls are born princesses, while others just can't help falling in love with handsome princes. Some girls are princesses and don't even know it. Take a trip into the world of some special princesses. Discover their amazing outfits, their likes and dislikes, their hopes and dreams. Meet their special friends and wicked foes and take a look inside their fairy tale worlds. That's... I'm a sucker for the fairy tale sort of shown on the promo screen cap of Annika and Eden. It's the illustration of Annika. Uh, Annika. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize just how much like i genuinely miss you know at this level of quality and detail and care it's a promo screen cap i was gonna say derek this is not the swan princess but that's beautiful annalise's world that's interesting i just had a look at that um annalise is spelled as a double n e l i i e s e instead of you know anna hold on let me check I think I've just been coming across way too many Annalises on social medias. Oh, it's got something at the end too. Um, come meet the amazing Barbie princesses in this essential guide. The magical Pegasus, Annika, Annalise and Erica, Odette. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I remember exactly when the Barbie website used to be this entire sort of like art style. And, oh my goodness, Sugar Plum Island, Sea of Storms, The Ice Cave, Ginger Bread Village, Palace of Sweets, Floating Island. The Floating Island? I don't remember. Oh, wait, no, I do. Wait. Okay, Floating Stepping Stones. Gosh, I mean, look at this. But she feels all grown up and ready to Oh, wow, I mean, just look at this. This is beautiful. I'm just going to skim through the rest of it, I think. Just 
just so this isn't so long. And there you go. Got like a sort of like look at um, Clara herself and the details of her outfit, which is exactly what they did in the Disney Princess one. There's Rapunzel, there's Gothel's bedroom, Rapunzel's, and oh my gosh. This is making me a bit emotional. The Enchanted Forest. So, we don't see the village. Okay. Here's Annalise, Erica. Oh, that's beautiful. And there's the rest of them at the end, the happy ending. Like, there's a reason to why Barbie during her princess era was so incredibly well received. Because there's just so much quality and care into them that I am definitely going to be keeping these in pristine condition for when I have a daughter one day or a son. I grew up consistently watching every single Barbie movie. Barbie in the Pink Shoes. So when I was 12, because it was 2013 if I remember correctly, that was when I started becoming insecure and a teenager and that type of thing. But I still, I still stuck with the Barbie movies all the way at the very least, even if I was very unsure whenever or not it was considered grown up enough to be collecting dolls and stuff like that because of certain things I was told by certain people um, at that time period. I haven't seen the new Barbie movie, uh, Barbie and Chelsea, birthday surprise I think it was, something like that. I haven't seen it yet. It's, on, it's finally on Netflix after like months of not being on there for some reason. That's kind of the only Barbie movie I hadn't the last few in the last recent years, I definitely kind of like hadn't watched them consistently, but I eventually watched them after like a year or so or something like that. And I always did see like their advertisements and their promotions and their trailers before it got released. So but the Barbie movies is definitely something that I can't get away from. I'm pretty sure it's been cut. I know that she has like a little clip on and extra hair that makes it longer, but it's been cut. I'm fairly positive. Then anyway, here is Barbie as Rapunzel. And she's got stain itch on her face that I'll have to definitely clean up. But I mean, look at this dress. It's so sparkly. It's not ripped up or anything. She doesn't have any shoes, which I was bummed about. I couldn't tell in the photo. And I'll have to sew her flower, her rose back on her dress properly. But I am so happy to have her. The best thing that I could do in comparison to how low Barbie has gotten as a franchise is this was 20 years ago. This was released last year, two years ago. The hair quality, you could see it. Even though the Rapunzel, her hair needs to be cleaned up, you can tell that her hair isn't so much better. Like, it's better quality. And even down to the, the legs. Barbie's crown and her shoes. This is all painted on by me. I still need to fix them up because it's kind of chipping and stuff like that. But like, there's no details whatsoever in this doll. Even then, you can compare Prince Stefan's crown. Like, literally all there is to it is just molded detail, nothing's painted, except for the fact that it's much more sturdier of a plastic and it's metallic paint. I didn't have that many uh, Ken dolls as a child. For some reason, my mom just wasn't, was very reluctant on buying him, um, so I never really actually got him. I only had two, and now I have Stefan. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They've changed Ken's face over the last 20 years, and I much, pre much more prefer the, the diversity and the different shape in his face uh, compared to what he looks like before, because he's just, he looks like a buff action Superman. But even then, like, you can just see the execution of the quality is so much more better. And he's got a hole in his back. What's that for? Does he sing? There's a button. I think he sings. That'll be interesting to see. But, did you hear that? Bendable knees! Like, Mattel does not have to go to excessive amounts of, like, details and quality. They don't have to bend to the wills of what MGA is creating with the, you know, metal chains and things like that. But just simple things like this. It's good enough. It's great. Whoa. He's beautiful.
beautiful. He's gonna look great when he's tidied up. Their sword, uh, shield. Wow, it's so wonderful to have all of them. Obviously, I need the three little Kellys, but oh gosh, such a shame that Mattel's going ahead and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tidy them up, and I will be right back. Here's the longer piece. It's mostly brushed, except that it's just very messy here at the top where it's kind of like inserted into the head for the gimmick. Here's the original bands decaying. <laughs> Her hair is so incredibly soft. I can't get over it. It's, oh my gosh, once it's conditioned. Literally the whole entire time that I'm fidgeting these two at the moment, I just have the Rapunzel theme song in my head. In the ending scene where Rapunzel's on the beach and Stefan walks with her. <laughs> so there we go. There's one of the rubber bands. And here we go. Pretty amazing what, you know, a small little scrub with soap and water can do, really. As you can see here, his hair is slicked back. All I did was just dab like the tiniest, tiniest bit of water on his hair to make it wet and just have it slick back and dry. And yeah, um, I'm kind of warming up to him a little bit more. Her rose still needs to be glued back on. I got these pair of purple shoes I found in a bundle that I had about four years ago, a random little hair clip that I have since I was a little girl. I think this was from a Barbie Cinderella set that I got when I was five. I can't be sure. I couldn't redo her hairstyle, so I just thought, you know what, I'll just, you know, copy everybody on Instagram and do the hairstyle that she has in the movie, and I actually quite like it. And unfortunately, for the longer piece of hair, that's not salvageable, that's completely frayed. Um, quite a lot of the pieces, um, quite a lot of this was actually stuck into the whole gimmick, as you can see there. I think about like this much. So it was really difficult to pull out with all the knots and the messy hair. And as a result, a lot of it's frayed. I haven't boil washed it, I don't know that I'll fix it. And I just put rubber bands on it that's obviously snapped now because they wouldn't stay on our feet. I thought I lost them at one point. Very happy, actually. They look fantastic. One thing to note, I actually didn't realize that they were supposed to come with Rapunzel's musical hairbrush and her mask. So I contacted the seller not too long ago and supposedly they're meant to be coming in the mail. I don't know when, because they live all the way in the UK. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and adios!